Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you could join me today because today's video is super important. It's gonna be a quick video, just a quick tip, but this is a very important tip. I'm sharing with you the best and easiest way to touch up your SPF over your makeup. And I have seen so many different ways of people doing this online. Some of them are kind of gross, but I'm gonna share with you today really what I do and what's simple and still very, very effective to get that SPF protection even over a full face of makeup. So before I share this quick tip with you guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Join our skincare community right here. I'm the owner of SkinTruth.com. I've been in the skincare business for 13 years now, and I started SkinTruth.com so I could bring you guys all of the best medical grade skincare brands, skincare brands that I truly use and recommend and that I can guarantee you will get the best results from. So join my channel for all the best skincare tips so you will get the best skin of your life. Hit subscribe and then also hit the bell notification so you get notified every time I post a video, which is on Tuesdays and Fridays. Meet me right here. But then also head on over to my Instagram and join my Instagram family as well for more tips. And let's get into this one, you guys, because there's nothing more important than making sure that you are fully protected with SP SPF all day long. All right, so like I was saying, I've seen all kinds of ways on how people reapply SPF over their makeup throughout the day. The one that I find that is so gross that I've seen a couple of people do and I'm just like so grossed out by it is they actually have a full face of makeup on over their SPF and then they will take more like liquid SPF and apply it all over their already done makeup and then reapply their makeup on top of all of that again. That just grosses me out so much and I just cannot see anyone really doing that. It's going to just clog your pores and you're just pushing that makeup into your skin and putting stuff oh, like, oh, I can't even like bleh. This is a really effective way to actually touch up your makeup while still reapplying your SPF. And it's the Color Science, the brush on sunscreens. This is an all mineral sunscreen. It's an SPF of 50. This gives amazing protection. So worth it. I've used these on the beach for years to touch up my uh, SPF over my makeup and I never get a sunburn ever. They're very, very effective. So my tip to you guys is to use a brush on SPF powder SPF over your makeup. But this is the concern that I get from a lot of you guys and I actually was talking to you on my Instagram about this because these brushes that they come in are not that effective. You really can't tell how much powder you're getting out of them, they get jammed, and then also having to wash these is like, a pain. So I've come up with a way that just makes them so much better to use, so much easier, so much cleaner, and you can actually see how much you're applying. What you do, and it's very easy, is you unscrew the bottom of the Color Science brush on, and I take this with me, I travel with these all the time, and I use this little cap, you know, the bottom of it, the little cap that comes off, and I will pour the SPF into the cap. I always throw a brush in my purse or my beach bag. I have one of these in my purse, my beach bag, in my bathroom because I love this brush so much. It's perfect to reapply SPF. What I do is I just throw this in my beach bag or my purse for the day when I want to touch up and I just get the powder onto the brush. And this is the matte one, which I love the matte SPF because it really helps to touch up my skin of any oil but then again, I'm getting the SPF as well. And then I just keep reapplying and you will be fully, fully protected. And that I can assure you, because like I said, I've used these for years and I use them on my kids to a lot of times easily reapply when we're out playing soccer. I just literally take a brush and I sweep it all over them. Bam, done. So I love that. That is what I do. And then, you know, any leftovers that I have in the cap, I just take dump it back in and then screw the cap back on and voila, that is it. You are completely and safely and effectively touched up with SPF over your makeup. I also use these obviously to reapply down my neck and chest too. So easy, you guys. They're sheer, they go over your makeup beautifully and again, they actually help to touch up your makeup. They come in multiple different colors. They have a matte one. They also have a glow version which just gives a light luminosity to your skin. They have a bronze one that gives you a bronzy glow to your skin which is actually amazing. I love the bronze one. But then they also have ones for different skin tones too. They have the fair, the medium, the tan, 
tan and the deep just like they do with like their SPF flex which you guys know I'm obsessed with as well they have the same tones in the brush on SPFs too they just make it so easy and convenient with the best touch-ups over makeup but I just wanted to share with you guys the tip about unscrewing it and then bringing along your own brush because it's way easier to get the right amount of product and then you can also wash your brush way easier too than having to deal with the brush on these and you know exactly how much you're putting on your skin so like I said there's a lot of different ways and a lot of different ways I'm sure that you've seen on how to touch up your SPF over makeup they have SPF sprays that you can apply over makeup I really don't like those that much um, I feel like they leave like a weird feeling to your skin I've tried some of them and was just not a fan and you're also not really getting the best protection from them also the way of reapplying all the actual SPF over your entire face and makeup and then reapplying makeup on top of that again just grosses me out but this way is truly super effective with the best ingredients the best protection and it actually sets your makeup and kind of refreshes your makeup at the same time it doesn't move anything around and you can actually just touch up your makeup while still protecting your skin so I absolutely love these I literally have one of these in my purse in my beach bag pool bag every single time I go out for me these are my absolute favorite the ISDIN makes a great brush on SPF as well and so does is clinical they have a great brush on SPF too with all different skin tones too I will link these along with those two down below so you can check those out but the color science ones are my favorite so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and just this quick tip I hope it helped you out I will link these link all of that down below for you guys with the coupon code that I give you for skin truth too that will be all in the description box if you have any questions let me know in the comments down below but I love you guys I hope this helped and I'll see you in my next video bye